Has anyone seen my mug? <coughs> this was becoming very mysterious. Not again. Why does everything keep disappearing? Uh, maybe you simply left it in the other room. Let's look. Come on, George. Let's see the rest of the lab. <laughs> Someone had taken the kitten mug, the shell, and the shoe. He didn't know who did it, but he had a pretty good idea what they looked like. Look at that shell! <laughs> it was a shell, all right. But it wasn't George's. That's a loggerhead sea turtle. <laughs> She's injured, so we're taking care of her until she heals. George wondered, could the sea turtle be the one taking things? Those flippers make them very fast in the water, but on land, they're quite slow. <laughs> If the turtle was slow on land, it probably didn't steal George's shell. Still, it was worth a look. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's time we clean the turtle enclosure. And if you're up for it, we could use two extra hands. He's right! Four extra hands! Oh, I'll help, e even though I only have two hands. Every hand helps. We'll need some sponges and a bucket. <laughs> Luckily, George had brought his own bucket. Where was it? George couldn't believe it. Someone had stolen the octopus, too. His bucket. What was it doing over there? What is it, George? Hmm. Wow! You did it! You solved the mystery, George! So this is where everything went. But how did the octopus get those things into the water? Octopuses live in the water but they can venture onto land for short periods of time. <laughs> yeah, why did Octavia take all these things? Well, in nature, octopuses collect things like shells and coconut husks to use for protection near their dens. Like my shoe and my coffee mug. <laughs> and your shell, exactly. The collection is called an octopus's garden. Good. Guess we'll need to secure this lid so she doesn't keep getting out. George liked his shell but he knew someone who liked it even more. Well, it looks like that's how an octopus says thank you, George. That was very generous of you, George. <laughs> you can come back and visit Octavia and your shell any time. 
George thought that any seashell that got to be part of an octopus's garden was one lucky shell. Definitely not. Unlikely. Oh, how nice. He's a pigeon, right? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. I met a pigeon and a monkey on the same day. Pinch me. Hi there, pretty bird. Look, he's on my head. Say, would you like to see some pictures of some deep sky objects, pretty bird? Compass wasn't interested in seeing stars. The food was gone, and it was time for him to go home. But Compass being Compass, he went the wrong direction. Oh, dear. He wants to get out. <laughs> Use the window, Birdie. That way. Go to the monkey. Go to the monkey. Oh, dear. It's not working. Wait, I know. I'll open the telescope door for him. The door is right there. It's behind you. Look! <laughs> oh, the tension is too much. Good idea, monkey. Just don't let him go inside the telescope. He might hurt himself or it. Oh, I can't look. You better take him to the window, George. He can't find it by himself. That's it. You've almost got him. Try this. Mmm, wonderful tuna salad. Try and guess the secret ingredient. Ah, uh, no idea. A touch of mustard. Really? Hmm. <laughs> George worried Compass might try to exit through the telescope. George? Hi. Systems restored. What happened? Nothing, nothing. We were just trying to help the pigeon. A pigeon? Ah! <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Griggs? I believe so. Oh, dear. The telescope is no longer pointing at Mars. I'm going to have to move it. Wait a minute. Look at this! It's an exploding star! A supernova! Quick, failsafe, photograph it! <laughs> I'm way ahead of you! Oh, George, this is much better than Comet 331P! <laughs> oh, thank you, George! <laughs> Other astronomers had photographed the comet, but only Mr. Griggs saw the supernova. I couldn't have done it without my curious friend, George. <gasps> George was happy that Mr. Griggs got the award, 
but he was even happier to learn a little more about the stars. Sorry we didn't find your Petey. <laughs> Let's ask the guys outside. They go everywhere. Where had all the confetti gone? Hey guys, my friend here lost a parrot, Petey. Anybody found one? Not yet, but it's a big park. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Want to come along? <laughs> Good catch! How did everything from that big bag fit into that little barrel? Nice, huh? The trash cans are fake. They cover these underground tubes. They're like big vacuum cleaners. The trash gets sucked down to a central collection area. That way, trash collectors don't disturb our guests during the day. Ready to roll? <laughs> I hope you find your Petey. But Petey wasn't to be found. At least not on the streets. Hmm. It was time for George to search the rides. First up, the roller coaster. George hadn't remembered the coaster being that noisy before. Well, hi, little fella. What are you doing here? You lost your parrot, Petey? <laughs> That's tough. <clears throat> Sue's oiling the four wheels on this coaster. can search the cars for your PD together. A map of all the places you went today? Huh? Hmm. All those rides need maintenance, too. What do you say we help each other out? <laughs> I forgot the most important part. Huh. To take a test ride. Think you're up for it? <laughs> Nuts to be tightened. Ah! Light bulbs to be changed. Ah! And cables to be replaced. <laughs> Whoa! But there was only one more ride to go, and George still hadn't found Petey. Swamp boats it is. George had worked on all the rides and not found Petey. <gasps> Whenever I lose something, it's usually in the last place I look. Ready, George? And Petey? Hey there. 
has anyone seen my monkey? Shh. <sighs> now all he had to do was count the sheep. Uh, One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, five. But where was number six? There were seven, eight, and nine. Sheep six had to be there too. George accidentally left the gate open. Sheep six escaped. <laughs> Maybe sheep six was in the barn. Nope, not in the barn either. Well, looky here. I guess Mrs. Rankins must have numbered y'all to keep you organized. Ah! 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 Huh? But we only have eight sheep. Why are you wearing a nine? Oh, I see. The nine is just a six turned upside down. Eh, well, I can fix that. Ah, <laughs> there. <laughs> That's more like it. Sheep Six came back. <gasps> but how did he get in? <gasps> Sheep number six was back, but now number nine was gone. Hi, George. <sighs> What are you doing? And why are the sheep wearing our calendar? Oh, I get it. You're counting sheep. George, when I said, if you can't sleep, count sheep, did you think I meant real sheep? I see. Well. Grandma just meant to count sheep in your imagination, not go to an actual sheep pen. George thought Grandma's way sounded a lot easier. <laughs> well, I'm going to finish my bike ride. I'll see you after your nap. But George couldn't take a nap yet. He still had to find sheep number nine. George went to get the number six when it turned into a nine. Then it turned into a six again. How was the number doing that? A six was an upside down nine, and a nine was just an upside down six. Sheep number six and sheep number nine were the same animal. The missing sheep had been there all along. George's way of counting sheep was harder than Grandma's, but it sure tired him out. That night, everyone came to George's house to celebrate the new year. Ready for the countdown?
over the log. Oh, oh, ha. But there's no ramp in the woods. We can bring one. <sighs> now, how are we going to deal with that thorn bush? <sighs> Hard packed trail makes it easy. Just you wait, it gets a lot harder, believe me. These are the thorn bushes I told you about. Okay, if you really think it'll work. George? Okay. Um well, here here goes nothing. Crossing. Crossing. Ha! I made it! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Sticky for our wheels. <laughs> Guess you were right after all, Bill. It sure was nice up till now, though. Wait, you're not. You can't turn back. We're almost there. But we don't have a way to get across. Figure out how to get more boards. <laughs> Good thinking. Nice going, George. <laughs> Great oh, job! We did it! I told you we could do it. ever gotten his cast signed by a dog, a city kid, <laughs> and a frog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what the best part of the super secret middle of the woods pond is? Getting to share it with friends. 